Hi there, students. To be in for something. Wow. Good phrasal verb, though. You are in for problems if you continue acting like that. You will have. It is probable, it is very probable, you will have. I wouldn't go for a picnic because if you do, you're in for bad weather. Okay? So you, to be in for. Normally you are in for something bad, but not always. Um, if you go on holiday, you'll be in for a good time. It's possible, but we normally use this for negative things. Yeah? You're in for problems. Um, if you're late again, you will be in for a telling off. Telling off. That's very naughty. Don't do that. Okay? So, to be in for, I predict you will have. Okay? Bad weather, bad luck. If you walk under a ladder, you will be in for bad luck. Yeah? Okay. Um, if you go into that district at night, you are in for trouble. Okay? You are going to have. So there you go. Nice phrasal verb. Notice two particles in for something. Okay. Inseparable. In for it. So, yeah. Yeah, I could even say that. If you do that again, you are in for it. It. Some sort of punishment. Okay, so, if you enjoyed the, the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.